on from the previous video, we had found out the velocity profile expression here. And what we need to understand is that if we know the center line velocity we see, we can actually map out the entire velocity profile within that pipe for uh, laminar flow. Uh, moving on, now we can use this velocity profile information to find out, say, the volume flow rate through the pipe cross section. And we can do that in terms of velocity multiplied by area and integrating it over the entire pipe cross section. So if you're looking at the pipe cross section here, and we chose this strip, um, an arbitrary strip of thickness dr, then this entire pipe's area dA would be equal to uh, the circumference, which would be 2 pi r, multiplied by the thickness, which is dr. So that is what we substitute here. Instead of the velocity here, obviously we substitute uh, the velocity profile relationship here, which is dependent on radius of uh, the pipe. And then all we have to do is we have to just plug in the value of uh, the velocity profile expression here. And we simplify this. And this is what we find out after integrating uh, this term here. But we also know that volume flow rate is equal to the average velocity multiplied by area. And because the area that we are looking at is the cross-sectional area, which is pi r squared, area of the circle. So we can also equate volume flow rate as this term. And what we see from these two here is that if we equate both of them equal to each other, pi r squared would cancel out. So what that would leave us with is that the average velocity is equal to the center line velocity divided by 2. Now we can plug this in to this expression for the center line velocity. And if we do that, we would be able to find out the expression for average velocity in our pipe. And now all we have to do is we just have to take this equation and we have to plug in uh, this equation into this highlighted equation that is being showed uh, shown here. Just plug in uh, instead of we see by we we see by two. You just plug in uh, the average velocity value here. Instead of r, you substitute it as d by two, and you would get the expression for volume flow rate in terms of pressure drop and in terms of diameter of the pipe, the length of the pipe. And this is what is basically known as, if we simplify it further, this, is, this equation is what is known as the Poiset law. Poiset's law for a fully developed laminar flow in a horizontal pipe. Okay, so this was the derivation and these two equations are valid for the horizontal pipe. If we were to adjust these two equations for a pipe that is not horizontal, we would have to include the effect, the combined effect of pressure and gravity. Gravity in terms of specific uh, weight, which is gamma equals rho g, and in terms of theta, which is uh, the angle between the pipe and the horizontal surface. So we would basically get the same equations if you compare these two equations with the previous equations. It's just that you have to plug this in here. And a simple um, check is that just if, if, this, if you were to use these equations for a horizontal pipe, these would still be valid. Just plug in the value of theta equals zero. This term would be equal to zero. This term would be equal to zero. You would be left with the same equations that you derived here. Okay, so all you have to do is you just have to, you can just use these two equations instead of looking at those two. And I'll leave the proof of these um, up to you. And uh, also you will have a reading assignment that you need to go through. Just go through section 8-2-2, how you can derive the same thing through Navier-Stokes equation uh, equations. And we will just go and look at this problem where you have an oil that has a certain viscosity and density and you have a constant diameter pipe as well um so okay 
disregard this here. We just find out uh, what is the pressure drop. We look at part A here. What is the pressure drop uh, that is needed to produce a flow rate? So we have flow rate given to us and we it's given to us that the pipe is horizontal and the length of the pipe is given to us as well. So all we have to do is we just use the equation for flow rate, volume flow rate that we derived and uh, what is pressure drop? P1 minus P2 is equal to delta P. So all we have to do is we just have to plug in the values for uh, viscosity, for length of the pipe, um, for the flow rate which is given to us, uh, for the diameter which is given to us as well. And we find out the pressure drop uh, that is needed to produce this flow rate. I'll leave part B and C up to you. Uh, these, those are going to be left as home assignments, and that's it.